What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. I'll be honest, though. It tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done OK. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't going to be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't going to marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Shh. about that stew. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Ugh, about the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. 
Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. Meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This phony McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, First thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? Found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but... Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Where'd they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept our eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail? In my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? You're gonna start yammering about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered.
ma'am.
sir. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Mm, very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. What are you doing? Let's keep moving. All right. Now stay close to the dog, son. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you. You can't stop now, old man. But I'm gonna try and make up for that. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, huh? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Hey, Jack, he's on to something. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in a tall tree. You've never seen a bigger animal in all your life. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Woo! it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Come on, let's go. All right, let's see if we can find some more. Find another one, Rufus. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. 
Don't snatch it. I know. I saw how you did it. Keep going, boy. Stay on him, boy. Me, Jack. Now it's your turn. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? You stink. You wait here. I'll be just a moment. That's all I got for you this time. Happy trails. No two days or ever the same around here, you know? Marks. Have a good day, partner. Oh, he's in the market. I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. I'll be back with more next time I pass through. Okay, then. Bye. All done. Let's head home. out of the stewing pot for a couple of days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner.
I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. Fun? I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. No show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Come on! Whoa! All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Come on! We can't stop now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on! Look out! I can shoot. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, and the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Yeah. I'm sorry, Paul. Yeah. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I, I really am. It's just every time you yeah. go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. Who was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? Why do you want to know? Well, it just sounds like a good story, that's all. Look, he's on to something. Follow me! Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Paul, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Well, why do you call him Uncle Ben? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. You can find him, Rufus. There they are. Good boy, Rufus. That should calm you down. themselves good work son go on now Rufus find the rest of them I see him let's go come on go Come on. He 
This is what you get for stealing our cattle! They want you! Brave Darwin! It looks like all of them! Nice work, Jack! You can't be tired already! Alright! We should head back now! We got out further than I thought! Yeah! How many did we kill? They won't be after our cattle for a while! That was some good shooting, son! So can I go out hunting by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy! You ain't ready for that yet! One step at a time! Ah, uh, please, Pa! We'll go out again soon! Catch something nice for your ma to cook! I reckon I can kill a bear, no problem! I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack! You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Pa, can I ask you something? Of course! Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe, but I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No, and I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do... Wait, let me catch up. There we go. You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. <laughs> all we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. Good arm, Willie. That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine it, though. John and Jack Carson. They wanted men in the West. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, jeez. I was only joking around. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Turn into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble.
John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a-hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Come on. Come on, easy up now. Come on, Rufus. Where's Jack? What you got, boy? Can you smell something? Come on! Come on, boy. Where is it? Easy. Yeah. My Jack, Rufus. Whoa there. Can anybody hear me? going off on your own. You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Now hold tight. Are you all right? Where are you going? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? Why are we stopping? Well, I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. Well, I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? Well, you're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I don't think I can ride myself, sir. I never said that. 
I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Oh, please don't stop. I don't feel too good. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Come on! Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad thing. Things nobody should do. But your ma and me, we didn't have what you had. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over in church. But nobody tells me anything. You and Ma pretend like nothing happened. We just want a better life for you, son. Now rest. We'll have you home soon. I'm sorry I made you worry, Paul. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up! Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Whoa, whoa! 
Let's move him out. Get oh, going. There. Come on. Yeah. Move on. Move on. Get a move on. Let's keep him moving now. Come on. Let's go! Forward! Steady now, you dumb cow! Let's move here, my four-legged friends! Move! Let's go! Stay together, you dumb animals! Come on! Move! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Keep it moving! Let's go! Fighting battles that ain't mine. Move! Let's go! Move it out! Come on! Come on! Stay together, you dumb animals! Yeah! After the herd, I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today.
Hello, ma'am. Oh. My condolences. Oh, my dear Harold, I can't believe he's gone. I knew his frequenting that gambling boat would be the death of him. The death of him. Oh, Harold Thornton, I miss you. I see. I heard that Doc Trollop Clara laughing at the funeral. I can't understand how strangers can be so cruel. The world is a sad and terrible place. God preserve his soul. I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Take care. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? Follow me. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened? What to were you? you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Uh, getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Let's go.
Bring Whoa, it. Whoa, hey. Relax now. Don't pull. I got you now. <laughs> Use your knee, old woman. Calm it down. That's the fight you want. Nearly there. There you go. Let's go. There you go. I'll take Humble your lip, now. for Christ's sakes. Have you got one more left in you? Come on. I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. Come on! Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son.
Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Oh, my good God! There's still time for you to run, old man. <laughs> Coming. Go check on your family, boy. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill you. No, I ain't gonna let that happen. You ain't gonna take us. I can get right there.
get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh, my God! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! We'll make a run for the barn. Stay close and keep your eyes open. There's more coming down the hill. God damn it! You two watch it, John. It's back. I'll keep you covered. I won't let anything happen to you. Just stay alive. yourself I won't let you take them again Hold down with me I'll kill all you sons of bitches you ain't gonna win Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs>
Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Yeah. 